Here's a question I get asked all the time. Do I think the real estate market is going to crash? And my answer is no, I don't think it's going to crash. There's a 5 million home shortage across the nation. Even if home builders were building at the pace of double of what they're doing now, that it would still take about five years for them to catch up to the demand. If you zoom out and look at the history of interest rates, I mean, at one point there were 18% in the 80s. So relatively speaking, interest rates are still remaining low. We've been seeing a high rate of equity increase year over year during the pandemic, and that's mostly due to the scarcity. There's not a lot for sale. People weren't sure they wanted to sell their house. They didn't know where they were going to go if they sold their house because it's so competitive to buy your next house that um, a lot of people just ended up not selling. The decrease in inventory available for sale and the high demand because of the low interest rates, it's just the perfect storm to drive up the pricing. And I don't think that we can keep this pace up that we've been seeing for the last couple of years where we're seeing like 20 and 30% equity increase year over year. It's just not sustainable. Uh, I don't think that that's going to continue, especially if the interest rates increase through the year, which they're predicted to do. We've seen an increase in, in interest in the last couple of weeks already. We're into the 4% range. If there is some kind of a market correction where prices go down just a little, it's not going to be substantial. Eventually, it's it's going to plateau and then we'll continue on our normal pace of equity increase um, year over year, maybe like three to 6%, not the 20 and 30%. That's just not normal. Long story short, I don't think that there's going to be a crash. Um, if there is some kind of a pullback or correction, it's going to be temporary and small and then normal pace of appreciation.